Uh, good morning, Blue Troopers. Hope everybody's having a wonderful morning. I, no joke, just woke up. Taking my first coffee right now. And the princess, as you may hear the sound, is popping up into her princess palace. I have fed her this morning, so she has released me to do my morning video. First off, I want to thank everyone that was able to uh, make the live stream last night. At one point, the little counter said we had 127 people, which just shocks me. Uh, I, I, I'm flabbergasted. Flabbergasted, I say. That was just magnificent. That, that, if I'm not mistaken, that's the, the most we've ever had at a live stream. So I think I'm going to make, uh, when I can, I'm going to make 9 p.m. Uh, on Saturday nights, the, the regular time for this when I can do it. Um, just, I guess that we finally found our... Our golden time we have the prime time so i'm taking all of my props from the live stream back out to the tarvis and uh, the number of hours i used to play with my little major matt mason it's not a doll it's an action figure <laughs> uh so the uh And uh, I went ahead out here, I just started opening up the uh, Atlantis Red Baron. And of course here are the stickers, including the big ones for the uh, Maltese cross. I want myself the author of the plastic cross. And I've got a feeling I'm just gonna put this thing together before I do anything else for hoots and hollers. And then I wanna get to work on the V25. Now, one thing, that I completely, uh, I even had it set up and queued up and, and just, you know, uh, forgot to, to get around to was I had shot some video while I was jump seating, uh, home yesterday. And one of the things that, uh, it's hard to explain to people, uh, no matter, no, even, even though it kind of, it, it makes obvious sense, but is just how hard it is to see other aircraft. Well, we happened to have a couple of aircraft that were only 2,000 feet above or below and a beautiful blue sky, silhouetted against cloud or against the blue sky. And I was able to, you just couldn't see them hardly with the naked eye. You, now, the camera, especially a cell phone camera, things look further away than they really are. So the camera made it, it was actually easier to see than it is in the camera. But it was a wonderful representation of what it's like to search for traffic when it's just a little bit further away. Now, mind you, the aircraft in these videos are 2,000 feet above or below and within a mile. And you think about how small an airplane gets at a mile distance, and they're frequently calling traffic 8, 10 miles, and you're just looking for a speck, and unless some sun bounces off of it, of, of a window or something, and, and, and gives you that little flash, they're nearly impossible to see. Now, at night, on a clear night, it's the exact opposite. You can see aircraft. 50 miles away because the light carries so well from the strobes and the beacons. But in the daylight, uh, especially with even just a little bit of haze, uh, you're really, really pressing to be able to um, scan for aircraft. And I just thought that was uh, a, a nice little thing to show you guys because a lot of folks don't appreciate how hard it is. Now, these aircraft are going the same direction as we were, so we're able to get these uh, shots of them. But whenever they're coming the other way, it's in, you know, you have a now, when they're when they're conning, leaving a con trail, that's a different story. Obviously, there's a big arrow pointing right to them. That they're used, especially against blue sky. They're really easy to see then. But if the air is dry, and uh, it can be really tough to pick them up, and if there's a little bit of haze, they become nearly impossible. And it's hard to believe, but you, you know you can get haze at 30, 35,000 feet. And like everybody talks about, so you know flying it. 38,000 feet, you're above all the weather. You're above a lot of it, <laughs> trust me. Weather can go up 50, 55,000 feet. I mean, you two pilots have to uh, be careful of the weather. And they're up at 75,000. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember from when I did the thing on the Gary Power shoot down, Powers had just gone around some weather when he got hit. So it happens. That could be an aviator's t-shirt. Weather happens. And so let's just take a real quick look at the uh, Atlantis repop, but there's uh, the Red Baron's head. 
and uh, maybe I'll do a, a what do you call it, a time delay, you know, just a quick build. And uh, there's the fuselage and one of the wings. I'm assuming that's the top wing. And of course, these are designed for kids, so they don't have to pay them. There's the bottom fuselage tail, what looks like to be the middle wing and the wing between the landing gear. Put it on there. And here are the black parts. Uh, here's the Red Baron's flying cap, the wheels, the little uh, motor. <laughs> there's his stash right there. <laughs> And uh, I guess that's his torso. And we got one or two pieces in here. Looks like the motor to the airplane, the display motor, and the machine gun. The machine gun. And of course, the decal stickers. And uh, so let me uh, <laughs> let me uh, put this thing together. We see you guys later. Hope everybody's having a wonderful morning. And as always, mod one. And I'm done with you, Miss Build ZB25. I have work to do.